Well, when I started my downsizing process a few years back and I looked into alternate housing, uh, such as tiny homes, RVs, mobile homes, etc., what I found in evaluating the different options that are out there other than the standard conforming types of housing, such as you know a regular single family house, a condo, or an apartment. The alternatives are pretty much a tiny home, an RV, or a mobile home. In this video, what I want to talk about is upon me looking at those different options, I would definitely eliminate mobile homes. Why? Because mobile homes themselves are not really mobile. Yes, they have the ability to be moved, but you need like an 18-wheeler. You know, you'll see them going down the road with the, the wide load, uh, you know, like warning lights. And most people will never move a mobile home because it's not really mobile. You certainly can't tow it with your car. Um, there's they, they don't have the greatest asset of the nomadic life, which is mobility. Not that you need to be a nomad to look into alternate housing, but being mobile is your biggest asset when you have a small footprint in life. And the mobile home is usually going to have to be in a community that has a lot rent or it's not going to be that desirable. Or again, you're into taxes, you're into association dues. So you're not going to take a mobile home from campground to campground. A RV is better because it gives you your number one asset, which is flexibility. You know, you live in North Carolina now, and then if something happens with your job or your life circumstance, or you want to visit a relative and you want to go to Florida, you want to go to New Jersey, you can move like this. You can make reservations at a new campground like this. Uh, RV, whether it's a travel trailer or a motorhome, is better than a mobile home because a, tra a, a RV is mobile. A mobile home is not. A mobile home is an anchor in a community, again, with lot rent, property taxes, association fees. It, it, it has no asset. It's not an asset. It's a depreciating asset. So is an RV, but at least you can move. You can go from state to state or city to city based on your needs economically. You can go get a new job in California. If California is paying you 30000 more dollars per year to be a nurse in California than Kentucky, you hit your RV, you go to California, you make that money, you live in a campground. You're not going to do that with a mobile home. Okay. So mobility, flexibility is your number one asset. A mobile home is not flexible. It doesn't have mobility. It's static. Now, a tiny home, which is technically considered about 300 square foot or less, you know, I kind of like that better than a mobile home, but you still have to find somewhere to park that, which is usually unrestricted land in the middle of the country. So that's a whole nother beast. But for those of you out there trying to downsize, trying to figure out how to get one of your biggest budget line items, your housing, trying to get your housing cost below average because you want to live this simple life, maximize your ability with your income, live more in your terms, and live this non-conforming life, an RV, whether it's a travel trailer or a motorhome, is better than a mobile home because you have flexibility. And you, remember, you don't have to pull an RV or you don't have to drive your motorhome. Your RV, you can stay stationary at an RV park or even a campground long-term stay. But you always have the option at any moment to move it easily, quickly, and cheaply. Not the case with a mobile home. You cannot easily, quickly, and cheaply move a, mo a mobile home. So the RV is way better. You got way more flexibility way more cost effective. You're not going to be tied into property taxes, utility bills. You have a mobile home. You're hooking it up to a sewer, electric, all that, and you have to pay the municipality. You're not going to like, you know, you don't take a mobile home to a campsite and hook it into uh, utilities that are paid for by the campsite. You know, no, you're you're getting stationary in, in a, a community that has lot rent or a municipality that's going to entangle you in their web. 
So, you know, again, the RV, you're not entangled in any web. And your flexibility as a nomad is your number one asset. Get a better job in California, visit your relative in New Jersey, go down to Florida for the winter. Use your flexibility. You're staying with a nasty controlling spouse in South Carolina and you hate them. You're starting, you know, and you don't know how you're going to be able to live without them. Well, number one is get you an RV. Okay. Number two is change your phone number. Number three is move on with your life because life is not meant to be lived suffering under the oppression of your controlling spouse, your controlling father, your controlling municipality, or anyone else. Live as free as possible. You don't have to travel around the country. You can stay long term at a campsite, at an RV park. And here's the key thing. If neighbors at your campsite are noisy, if the, the weather turns bad or something happens in that, you're not stuck there. You hitch up your RV, you start your motorhome, and you go to another place. You're not going to do that in a, in a mobile home. You're going to be in a trailer park. You're, you're going to be anchored. You're going to have to call an 18-wheel uh, big freight mover. You're going to have to pay thousands of dollars to move that mobile home. Now, where are you going to move it to? So, you know, you have no flexibility. A mobile home is not mobile. That name is a total lie. The RV, the recreational vehicle, whether it's a travel trailer or motorhome, is mobile. And that's its asset. Even though it too is considered a depreciating asset, its asset that is always appreciating is the fact that it can be moved simply, easily, cheaply, quick. No closing costs, no real estate agent, you know, no city inspection for uh, a certification of occupancy. All you need to do in a motorhome is hitch it, move today, tomorrow, whenever. And that flexibility, that ability, is what makes the RV greater than that shitty mobile home. Never forget it.